Hello, this is Alex Zero again, and um, I'm making a uh, some sad scripting tutorials for I'm mainly making them for the uh, Extreme Worlds community. It's um, if you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. But hopefully, since you're watching this tutorial, you do know what it is and you want to learn how to script, which is good because that's what this is supposed to teach you. Um, all right, let's just this is just a getting started scripting tutorial. It's just some just easy stuff. So it's just first a little background information on SAD script. It's actually a quote unquote corrupted version of VB script. It's um it's a little bit different. It operates on kind of the same principles but uses some different functions and whatnot. So uh yeah, that's really all you need to know. But um just some basic syntax and whatnot. Here's something you'll be using a lot. It's a call player message. If I can type. That's what it looks like. You obviously replace the message in here with your message and your color with your color. Something like green or red or orange or whatever the colors are. There's a list somewhere. And there's another one that you'll use a lot. This one. Warp player. That one, obviously, you just specify the map, the X, and the Y. and Pretty easy. And, uh, oh, call. As you notice, the, um, there's a call right here. That, it obviously calls a function or sub. I'll explain functions or, sub in a se functions or subs in a second. Um, essentially, what it does is it just tells it to run with whatever parameters you put inside the parentheses. Anyway. Um, Alright, there's... You can also kind of remove that. You can get rid of call and just get rid of the parentheses. And that'll work just the same. It's, it's kind of harder to read, though. Anyway, on to subs and functions. If you look in your main.pwx, as you probably have done, maybe not, but um, you'll notice that everything is kept in a sub or a function. Um, you might not know what that is, but that's everything in there. Everything that is in there runs at some time or, another, or another. Subs stand for subroutines, and functions stand for functions. Uh, here's what uh, a that's uh, a function. Here it is. Here's a sub sub fix item. Just something random. These are the parameters. These are whenever you call this sub, you have to put these variables in here. You have to have the same number inside the parentheses. You can't have any more. And you can't have any less. And then you can use them just like variables. If you don't know what variables are, don't worry about it. And all right, here is a function. Functions are a little bit different, but they work kind of on the same principle. See this function? It's uh, can player critical hit, obviously. It's uh, it's passing with the index parameter, which is your player essentially. Whoever typed the command has killed something, got killed, something like that. Um, but what it does is it's the this thing right here you'll notice if you know about variables that right there looks like you're defining a variable and that's true you are but it works a little bit differently because in a function you can call a function like a variable but have it run conditionals and stuff like this does it's just does it run, runs a formula to see if you can critical hit and if you can it says you can and then it does the damage somewhere else so yeah. And if you want to use a function, here's an example. It's just like, say I've got a, um, say, um, uh, whatever. Just call in a player message. And say I want it to have just, just whatever. It's just an example. And then, okay. And down here, I'd have my function get player name plus two. And then I'd have like this get player name plus two equals get player name pl plus, oh, actually. 
and then end function, of course. Anyway, you have to end functions just like you have to end subs. Otherwise, everything would run together and nothing would work. Anyway. Alright, so now, running out of time, let's go on to if thens. If thens, simple syntax, just if your condition equals your parameter, or whatever, then do your code. If I can type. There, and then end if. You have to have an end if. This right here is a comment. The compiler will ignore that. If I type this before it, it will throw me an error because that's not code. But if I type this after the apostrophe, it doesn't do anything because it's a comment. It's purely for the developers and scripters and whatnot. All right. Oh, operators. It's right here. The equals is an operator. The um, if you know about math, you'll like this is greater than, this is less than, this is greater than or equal to, and this is less than or equal to. Uh, no there. And this is not. Kind of. If, if it's anything other than that. And then you've also got, I think you have this one. It stands for not. If you use not, you have to put it back here. But whatever. Alright. And you have and and or. They do the same things. Now, move on to cases. This is very useful. That's how you use, that's how you start a case. The syntax is this. And then... See? Yeah. It's um, just your variable, str your variable or string right there. And then to select whatever case, like say uh, it's this one selecting the case get player name. So if my player name was Bob, then I could do this and tell it to call a player message saying, Hi Bob or whatever. It's pretty simple. And then at the end you have to have an end select. And if you have any code before a case, it doesn't work. It throws you an error. It doesn't work. Alright. Oh yeah, something else. Um, you can have, like, say I wanted to have a case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, whatever. You can do that. You can have multiple cases, but you can't have ranges. You can't have like a case 1 to 100. It doesn't work, and it's really annoying because that'd be amazing. But we don't have it, so it really doesn't matter. Alright, now, for next loops. For next loops are really useful. They're, um, you'll see them all the time. You don't see do until loops very much, or do loop very much, do loop loops very much, whatever. So, essentially, for i, you can use whatever variable there, equals however high you want to go, let's just say 50. For i equals, or excuse me, for i equals 1, that's where you want it to start, to 50, where you want it to end. Say I wanted to call a player message here, displaying my variable in red. Then it would run, and every time it went through, it would display whatever number the current thing was on. And you also want to, you have to have next at the end, where, where you want it to hit that and go back. And yeah, that, that would just output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way down to 50. Or up to 50. So yeah. If you have any questions, just um, message me on YouTube, or send me a private message, or just post a comment. Whatever, doesn't matter. If it's an intelligent question, I'll probably answer it. Otherwise, I'll probably refer to you to something else. So yeah, have fun.